hey oh i need a haircut oh well hello there let me tell you my hair was so unruly when i walked into that salon the hairstylist literally was like it must have been a long time since you got a haircut. And I was like, yeah. I'm talking pizza. The pizza place I'm talking about today doesn't need any promotion whatsoever from me. It already has over 50,000 likes on Facebook. On Lulu, it has a star rating of 4.5. That's for the main branch. That's right, there are several branches of this place, but the one in this episode is at Baywalk. Is it called Baywalk or Blue Bay? Blue Bay Walk? Hold on while I check. Blue Bay Walk. Blue Bay Walk. It sounds like just sound, right? Blue Bay Walk. Blue Bay. Blue Bay Walk. With all popular restaurants, you'll have a group of people who will say that it's overrated, overhyped, doesn't live up to expectations. It really, truly hurts my feelings. To those people who say that about Project Pi, I have one thing to say to you. I'm so defensive. Dude, it's DIY pizza. You build your own pizza. If you didn't like the pizza, that's because you didn't choose the right toppings. But I have good news. I'm here to tell you exactly what toppings to put on that pizza the next time you go to Project Pie so that you can eat the most awesome pizza ever. You know, you can make over 2 point something million permutations. Hold on, let me check again how many permutations. When dining out, I usually opt for water because I'm such a water fiend, but Project Pie has this delicious tea. I think they have different variations. There's this sweet peach tea that I absolutely adore. And it's not your typical Filipino iced tea that's just like 80% sugar. This one's actual brewed tea and it's just really good. You should try it. It reminds me of the South. I'm just kidding, I'm not from this out. But let's get to the heart of the matter, which is the pizza. You start with a ball of dough that they put in a magical compressor. By the time they ask you how to spell your name, you're ready to begin your project. I usually like mine with just the olive oil base, while others prefer adding tomato sauce. However, you should note that when you put a lot of toppings on your pizza, this tomato sauce is going to steal the spotlight from the other potential stars. When it comes to the cheeses, I ask them to put everything. Put everything. Kind of like how my dad just did there. Now here's where it gets tricky. People tend to get excited and ask for all of the meats. And that's fine, but if you want to be able to distinguish the unique flavors of your pizza creation, get a hold of yourself. Stick to two to three meats at the most. On my pizza, we already have the extra virgin olive oil topped with all the cheeses. I also ask for prosciutto, bacon, Italian sausage, caramelized onion, cilantro, roasted red bell peppers, and garlic. Here's the before shot of my lovely pizza on the left. And here's the after shot that makes me want to go back to Project Pi as soon as this video is done. Now don't worry about recreating this exact project pie of mine. I've got a scientific formula that is easy to remember. You guys ready? Start with the olive oil, then when you ask for all the cheeses, request for extra gorgonzola. Pair it with its soulmate, caramelized onions, add two to three meats, and you've got the most awesome pizza ever. I know the past couple of vlogs have featured some pretty mainstream establishments, and I'm not exactly helping out the hipster community, but I promise to take you guys to a nice, quaint restaurant next week, so do watch out for it on Saturday. And that's all for this week. Let's have a staring contest. Ready? One, two, three, go. Wait, no, I lost already. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and tune in again next Saturday. My name is Diane. Hear me 